Hi, I'm Alison. Can you imagine what life would be like without electricity? It seems everything needs it these days. Electricity plays such an important role in our everyday lives that we sometimes don't even remember that it can also be very dangerous. Today, let's talk about the proper way to handle electricity around the house to make sure our homes are safe for everyone, especially our children. Hey Johnny, catch this! What kind of lame tree is that? That's not how people pass by. You act like you can the better. Alright, you catch this. Well, what kind of throw that? Mikey? Johnny? It's what that? Look how much time I tell her to play in the house. Eh? Look there now. This why you better come in there, you know. Because if I ever come out there for you today, look here now. Sorry, Miss Madge. Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> Wait till your mother come. If you are ever mine, you see. <laughs> come, man, come. You told me we're clean this mess up, you know. Because I cleaned it already, and I'm not cleaning it again. First thing first, we can plug all the plugs behind the whatnot there. Because water and electricity don't mix. Alright? After that, you go get the map. And you get some paper towel and come and clean up this. When all the time people say, I go that worry sheep, is the two of them was thinking about. Eh? When I'm still from school, I have no peace. It's one of the free paper bun. What that mean, Miss Madge? What do you mean, what that mean? When you must go back to school, lax man. Eh? Look at your mother fancy lamb swimming in the fish tank with the fish. Have mercy. When your mother don't need your bottom this week. <laughs> you can't sit down for one whole week. <laughs> Johnny, you make sure that lamp plug out for me before I take it out of this tank. It plug out? Yes, Miss Madge. Make sure you know, because you must never take anything out of water if it's still plug in. They will find work for idle hand. But me on inside here today. Wait, Mikey, it's where you can sell lamp for the map and the paper towel. Come on, come. Wipe off your mother lamp and score the bulb and wipe it out to you. Here, here. Let me see if I can wipe up this water behind this cabinet here, you see? Because, hmm. I saw. Mikey! Why Miss Madge going on like that? It's just a little water we took the place and she's going on like we're almost dead. You stay there. You don't remember Melanie from Miss Harden class? She was playing in her house and the iron dropped in the bucket with the mop. She tried to take it out and never plug it out first. And you see what happened to her? You think I don't hear you over there? I'm not trying to be miserable, no, Johnny. But your mother did everything she can to make sure the two are safe. Even when it was babies. She put covers over the socket so you don't push no fingers or anything in there. You understand? And then even now, she put all electric cards behind the cabinet. So nobody don't trip and fall over them or anything like that. When I put the cards under some rugs, she said not to do that. Because when the cards are under the rug, people can walk on them and them can mash up. When they mash up, them can catch a fire. Now if they cover by the rugs, we're not going to know so they mash up. It's true, you know, Miss Madge. Anytime I try to join a big extension, call them. So I long enough so I can listen to my radio around the back. Mommy start make up noise saying I try to burn down the house. Come to think of it, Mommy only bite off me when the bread was stuck in the toast and I was taking it out with a fork. She said, make sure I plug it out first and nothing can happen to me. But of course she must make noise. Eh? Suppose you do that to the metal fork and it touch something in the toaster. You know how much less you stick can pass through that? Suppose you toast your finger, or anything worse could happen to you. Electricity might make everything in the house work. But if you ever make it run to your little body, you'll see what happened to you. Electricity is very useful, but it can kill you, just like the little girl from your school. That's why your mother gets so miserable sometimes. And you can't blame her? No, Miss Madge. See there now? The day almost finished and I don't even start dinner yet. I have half a mind to turn to cook today. <laughs> Remember, electrical appliances and water do not mix. So keep all electrical appliances away from water. And if an electrical appliance falls into water, do not attempt to remove it, unless of course you have unplugged it. Do not plug extension cords into each other. And do not cover them over with a rug or carpet, as they can overheat and cause a fire. Let's start today to make our homes safer for our children. For further information, dial 1-888-CALL-JPS. Until we talk again, I'm Allison. Stay safe. JPS, let's talk. Let's Talk is brought to you by the Jamaica Public Service Company Limited. Changing lives with our energy.